everyone, I'm Needlecraft Danny and I'm here for floss tube number 29. This time I have everything for you. I have a work update, I have some plans because they changed um, a little bit for next year and I have a tiny bit of haul <laughs> at the end. Um, so yeah, I really have everything. I realized really watching my video from two weeks ago, so my last work update, um, that I sh seem to have lost a bit of video, <laughs> so um, I, while editing, I seem to have kind of, kind of lost a piece of the video because normally when I say I show you a piece of a uh, picture of what it looked like last time, I stop the video, and while editing, I insert a picture between two videos. That's just easier for me. Um, with the with the program I'm using for editing. So last time I seem to have missed like a whole segment of the video. That's why it was so short. Um, I knew it was a short one, but it was really short. So yeah, I don't I don't know what what happened there. Um, you never saw the page finish of Dragon Dancer, and I realize I don't have, even have it with me here right now. So. But you saw it in, in the web update. In the web update, I showed you. I did not tell you explicit that it is now the page finish and you see it for the first time. But it was in there. So yeah, I finished the page. I reached my goal. I don't know what happened. I'm very sorry. Um, and I'm sorry that I realized it so late. <laughs> um, I am as well very sorry for not answering any comments. On the last two videos. I'm going to do that, not today. Normally when I'm at work and I have my lunch break and, then, and I don't feel like stitching because it's already dark and I don't have very good lighting there, I decide to answer comments. But I crushed my phone. Um, it fell on the floor, the display cracked and now the phone uh, thinks that where the display cracked, um, I'm touching it all the time. So it opens up all the apps that are on top on my phone and you can't use it anymore. So I hope to receive the display today so I can change it as soon as possible um, because otherwise I have to wait until after Christmas and I can't use the phone. It's my alarm to go off in the morning when I have to go to work. Um, I'm using this phone for everything. You will see later on. I'm using it um, for Pattern Keeper. I don't have a tablet. I don't um, export my progress um, from Pattern Keeper because I don't have the app anywhere else. And I normally, till this app got out, I only stitch from paper. So for me, there's no use in exporting exporting progress. <sighs> but then, and then, but then I don't have it anywhere else. So you will see in a second why I'm telling you this. I have no phone at the moment. It's very annoying. You don't realize how much you do with your phone until you lose it. <laughs> um, it's really crazy. Um, but well, it's it's the way it is. I hope to have it back latest tomorrow. Otherwise, I have it back prior to the new year, a few days. But well, it's it's the, the way it is. Um, I'm just going to roll with it. So, that was enough of talking, let's get started with the web update, because I have to get to work in about 40 minutes, so we have to make this video quick. Um, let's start. As I told you in the last videos, every day I try to work 30 minutes on a joyful world cell while the Sunflower Diaries. Um, to finish January as my last piece for this year and to finish it in December so I can have it up in this frame on the 1st of November, uh, sorry, on the 1st of January. And I will show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. And I finished with January. So I did the whole fox, I did all those white um, flowers and snowflakes and everything around there. And it's done. Super cute. Can't wait to have it up. Um, I have not yet started February. 
and I can't even show you what February will, will look like because I don't have my phone with me and yeah, I'm not that skilled with technic, uh, with um, those tech stuff, so I can't insert it. Um, I just can't. So it's a surprise. <laughs> but as I said, I did not yet start. I thought about starting it, but on the other side, I can wait till the first. That that's okay. So January is done, and it will be up in the frame soon. It's not as colorful as some of the others were, but it's January, and for the last three weeks, and going through the next two months over here, it will be great. Everything is great <laughs> and ready. Um, but yeah, that's so where it is where I live. Um, in the north of Germany, it's a lot of gray. So yeah. <laughs> okay. That's that one. So I'm not working on anything 30 minutes a day, or stuff like that. I just continue with my projects, with my normal rotation, um, to get some more goals finished till the end of the year. I won't get all of them finished. I already know that because I only have a week left. But that's okay. <laughs> For travel stitching, I worked on Wedding Birds by Nikki Pattern on Etsy. That's that one over here. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you. Job of water. I'm stitching this on a 32 count Belfast linen in the colorway Silvery Moon and I'm stitching two over two with the call for gentle at sample threads and DMC. Yay! Okay, now we can move on to wedding birds. Um, here we go. This one I'm stitching on a 22 count even weave in a very bright green you will never see on display. Um, with my own color conversion, kind of. Oh, I did not show you a picture of what it looked like last time, did I? I think I didn't. I put it in here. And this is where I'm at now. So, I did a lot. I finished my goal on this one. I finished this whole branch over here. I reached the top of the design. Um, that's already in the tree trunk over here, and the tree trunk goes about till here, so I'm nearly on the other um, side of the, uh, the design, sorry. And then I started over here with a new branch, because I still had some trouble stitching time left after I finished my goal and no other project with me. So the first quarter of the design is about through here. That's about the first quarter and it's all done. Here we go. So this will be my non-full coverage focus piece for next year because um, my boyfriend's sister is getting married and this will be her wedding present. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's it. Did I tell you I stitched two over one? I don't think so. 22 count even weave and I'm stitching two over one full crosses. So I get a really nice, good um, coverage, especially with the white on this fabric. So you can definitely see it. Um, as I said, I finished my goal on this project for travel stitching. And I needed some other travel stitching. So I decided to take another project out of my um, like rotation stitching on a project till, till the goal is done. Um, I put another one out of there to use it as travel stitching. Um, the one I'm talking about is a Heaven and Earth Designs Story Keep the Frog Prince artwork is by Melanie Dellen. And because I'm only in this corner, there's only like I think five colors or four at the moment, so it's easy to take with me. Um, I show a picture of what it looked like last time here. <laughs> And this is where I'm at now. I found a new way of stitching my full coverage pieces. And on this one, I like really started it and made it work. I'm stitching in a diagonal of 10 by 10 blocks. So last time you saw this, I had the diagonal with three blocks done. 
Now I have the diagonal with four blocks done and started the next one. My goal for this one is to finish the diagonal with 10 blocks. So I still have a lot to do. Um, but yeah, it's going forward. I always park the threads in the blocks below. And I won't do like page breaks. I just continue through the whole piece the same way. Um, I'm stitching this on a 32 count Belfast linen in ice blue. 2 over 1 10 stitch. And because I'm doing 10 stitch, I don't get um, column lines in there, even if I'm practically stitching in columns. So that's very cool. Here we go. So far, not a lot to see because all black and bronze. Sorry. All black and bronze. And the needle miner is from Denka Designs, as all of them have been. Okay, I only showed you one other one, but the other one was also from Lanka Designs, and this is a cute BBC. Uh, sorry, BB8, of course. Yeah, very cute. Um, yeah, that's that one. As I just told you, I'm going to work today um, after I finish the video. At least I hope that I finish the video before I have to go to work. Um, and I will take this one with me and maybe finish another column. That would be really great, but I don't know. Okay, that's been all my travel stitching. Let's move into rotation. Last time we spoke, I told you that I was um, stitching on mini Katie and Crunch if I haven't enough designs. This one, the artwork, is by Hannah Lynn. And my goal to, for the end of the year was to stitch on it for one rotation. I decided to do like three hours. And last time we talked, I had one and a half hours already stitched and one and a half hours more to do. So I'll show a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I'm at right now. So I continued to fill in this first column um, to transit it like, like uh, frog prints into stitching blocks, 10 by 10 blocks in a diagonal. So I wanted to um, complete this diagonal with all those stitches over there. So I had to move down, I think, 11 or 12 blocks over here. So I will finish this one first and then continue with the other columns. This one is stitched on a 25 count even weave, 2 over 1 10 stitch. And as you can see, I have already parked a few threads down here. And actually, I have parked... Let's not working. Um, and I have par parked one thread in the second column because I used it like down here and then I just decided to park it over there where I needed it next and not end it and start it again the next time I work on it. Needle Minder is from Denka Designs as well. And yeah, that's Mini Katie and Crunch. And I actually can't wait to get some more progress on this one. Um, I'm not super in love with this every time I think about it, but when I work on it, it's really fun. So yeah, looking looking forward to it. So now I have to clean up this mess because this project decided to make a mess. Um, <laughs> and then we can move forward to the interesting part. Um, so my last like really update video um, was two weeks ago and when I told you, or when I spoke to you that time, I thought I would make another update video the, day, the week after, and then I decided to just put up my ripper rate instead, because I had only worked on one project, except for travel stitching and such. And I lost something and can't find it. You know, I always put those hair pieces around my project so they stay rolled up. I lost the one for Katie and Crunch. It's been a minute. Okay, I search for it later. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I told you that I um, was doing the rip update a week later and I only stitched on one project. And so I decided to put up the rip update um, instead of the update video and not as addition to the update video. Um, which I think worked kind of great because now I have worked on some more projects and um, yeah so 
The project I'm talking about is Supersized Max Color Cliffhanger. The artwork is by Amy Stewart and it's another Heaven and Earth Designs. It's super big, it's super sized, and yeah, I showed a picture of what it looked like last time here. Good news, I found a headpiece for Mini Kate and Kata. Um, so, super sized max color cliffhanger. Last time you saw this, I had started the second page and told you that my goal for the year was to finish, finish 10,000 stitches and actually till Christmas and not till the end of the year. So this is where I'm at right now. I'm super close to finishing this page. There are about 900 stitching, 900 stitches or 800 stitches missing to finish this page. So I'm really super close and it's looking super gorgeous. On Saturday, I stitched on this one with Pattern Keeper on my phone. And I checked it and I was like, wow, that's that's good. I only have like 700 stitching missing, 700 stitches missing till I finish my 10,000 stitch goal till Christmas. I have three stitching days left. I can do this, um, especially because yesterday could have been a really good stitching day. So I was like super happy. And then I cracked my phone. Um, on this one, I'm stitching color by color, cross country, across the page. And I mark it on Pattern Keeper, not on paper. I actually have this page not even printed out. Uh, so I crashed my phone and I couldn't use Pattern Keeper anymore. I had no idea what I have done, what I have not done. I thought about starting like page number two because of a lot of black and I could have just gotten those stitches in but I'm not even sure of the exact amount of stitches I still need so it's just a lot of things I don't know um, and I just decided to leave it to hope I still get myself ready for today um, and continue stitching on this one, but if I don't, I don't, and I still try to finish the goal till the end of the year, but I won't finish it for Christmas. So i give you a bit of a close-up. This one is stitched on 40 count, one over one ten stitch, and as you can see, there are a few, just a few holes up in here where the stitches or the colors are still missing, but overall, it's looking really good. Yeah, that's been kind of a bummer. Especially because I know I could have done the goal. I could have reached it. Um, but now I can't. I definitely can't. And as I just said, I thought about doing a lot of black just on the second page, but I didn't feel like it. I wanted to finish this page. So, yeah. Presently, it's in timeout until my phone is restored and then I can continue stitching. Um, Needle Miner is again from Denka Designs. Super cute frog. Um, yeah, I hope I can continue stitching on this one today as soon as I have my phone repaired. As I said, I hope to, to have it today, but I have to leave in half an hour and for work and the display has not yet arrived, so we'll see. Next one, after cliffhanger, it didn't work anymore. I, on Sunday, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, I pulled out the next one. Not early in the morning, not early in the afternoon. I needed my time to kind of calm myself down from <laughs> this experience and pull the next one out. Um, it actually fit quite well because the next one in rotation is the one I'm only having my progress on paper because on the second page I have already a lot done. So it's kind of a waste of time to put it all into Pattern Keeper. I just finished the second page and then I can put all my progress into Pattern Keeper. So it's a good thing, actually, that I have not done it yet. The project I'm talking about is my focus piece for next year. I have an enough designs, mini Venturos, and artwork is by Rachel Anderson. Um, I'm on, on the second page over here, um, only back. So I show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. 
And I will have to search for this picture quite a, a lot of time, actually, because last time I woke, worked on this one was in September. So here it is now. Um, this one is stitched on a 28 count Lugana 2 over 110 stitch, and again, Needlemander from Denker Designs. Uh, and I, as I said, worked on the second page. I started filling in a bit of confetti over there, but then I just felt like stitching blocks of color, especially after the Max Color cliffhanger, where a lot of confetti is happening. It was nice to stitch on something not as confetti heavy as the other ones. So I filled a lot of um, this blue in here. I stitched a bit on the lilac, finished that one on the page. I just moved my way down, stitched on blocks of color, and got some good progress in. So that's that's the way I'm going to continue. Maybe stitch three or four threads of color blocks and then one thread of confetti, something like that. So yesterday evening, I worked on the lilac, wanted to finish up the lilac. And over here in page number three, there's another block of lilac and I wanted to finish that one. And I miscounted. So... Yesterday evening I started frogging, but I did not feel it and I wanted to go to bed. I was kind of tired, so I just left it and this morning I got up and frogged. Yay! Um, it was not a lot, uh, maybe 40 stitches, something like that. But nevertheless, frogging is never fun. So yeah, the goal for the year, for the end of the year, is to finish the page. Number two. And then next year I can finish all the other pages to have this project done by end of next year. That would be really cool. But we'll see. Um, yeah. And then we're kind of into plans because we're into my next pieces in... Sorry. We're coming to the next pieces in the, in the rotation. Um, what I'm going to stitch next as soon as page number two is done. If I get it done till the end of the year, it's only seven days left. Woo. Um, the next project, and I really hope to get to this one at least a bit, is Norwegian Ship Under Sail, the small version by Golden Kite. Um, and I show you where I'm at with that one. This one is stitched on an 18 count Ada, two over one, four cross because there are blended threads in there. I need to do two of one. Um, and that's where I'm at right now. So, whoa, focus please. Hello, thank you. Um, finishing this column will give me a page finish. That's not even half an hour work because I only think it's one color. So I want to have this page finished till the end of the year. I really want to. Um, the goal till the end of the year is then to finish, I think, two or three more columns to finish one and a half pages, um, which would be really nice because then I get into something else than background, which is always nice. So yeah, here we go. That's that's that one. Um, I just thought about if I don't get the page finished this year. I for sure get it next year, which is actually kind of good because I pay for a new start then. And this year, finishing the page this year, I don't. So, let's see. <laughs> no, I really want to finish this year, the page. Um, and the next project, which I actually kind of doubt to still get to, is, whoops, sorry for bumping the camera, is I have enough designs. Many ma mini Magic Mirror and Artworkers by Anne Stokes. And on this one, I actually started in the top right corner over here. Because I wanted to try diagonal parking. And I soon found out I don't like diagonal parking. So this is where I'm at with that one. Maybe because of the amount of confetti in that one. But yeah, I did, I did not like it. I like diagonal perking with 10 by 10 blocks, but not with stitches. So yeah, my year end goal is to finish all of those, those threads hanging in there being perked. That's a lot. <laughs> so I'm 
bring it a bit closer. There are a lot of purple threads in here. So, yeah, we'll see. As I said, I'm not even sure if I can get to this one. Um, because of the amount I have to do on Norwegian ship and a sail. Um, this one is stitched on 28 count, 2 over 1 tenth stitch. Yeah, 2 over 1 tenth stitch. And the needle minder is by Just Sue Heavenly. Um, I will link that below as well. Okay, those are the projects I worked on and the projects I'm going to work on if I can reach them. <laughs> um, I'm thinking, yeah, but we're continuing with plans. So, in my parade, I told you I will have every month four projects as focus projects or full coverage projects as full coverage focus projects. Um, to get my national park done with the full coverage phonetics challenge. So, um, and then Jesse Marie does stuff, did a video, and I think this year, 2019, she, she stitched with a whip go board, kind of a bingo board, but with whips. Um, and there are 25 cells in this whip go board and she invited everyone to also do their own whip go boards and stitch with her. So I did that. I did a whip go board. Wrote it myself. Um, 25 cells and there are 25 parks for the National Parks Challenge. So I took all the projects um, and the amount I wanted to or all the parks with the projects I want to stitch with them. So Dragon Dancer I want to stitch on twice for two parks. So Dragon Dancer is in here twice. There it is, the second time. So Mini Winter Rose is always combined with the Jimmy Sweep because there are seven parks Mini Winter Rose can fill on her own. And then an eighth park I will fill a few stitches with. And then I need another project, and that one will be the Journey Sweep. So they are always together in this whip go board. Because every month, Jessie Marie will um, take two. So, what's the word I'm searching for? Randomizely pick two. Let's put it like that. Um, and those will be two of my focus project. So Mini Winter Rose is always one of my focus projects every month. Then I will have two with the Whip Go board and one um, project for the Stitch Around the World Cell by the Full Coverage Fanatics where you don't have to do a specific amount of stitches but you stitch re uh, related to a country. And I have those actually listed somewhere for January. As I said it's Mini Katie and Cruncher because of Australia, plus Mini Winter Rose, and um, I think she will pick two days before or the day before the first, so two of those projects will be in there as well. It's possible that it's three time Mini Winter Rose, plus Mini Katie and Francia. That's totally possible. Nevertheless, that's the way I'm going to go. Um, I will mark them when they're called with some pencil and when I have reached the goal for one park, I will mark that as well. If I start the year in January and already finish Mini Winter Rose and for the Whipco board, two totally different projects get called. That's fine. I will mark the first Mini Winter Rose as done, as goal reached. And when it's, go uh, when it's going to be called, I'm just going to fill it with pencil and say it's done and stitch on the other three projects I have for the month. So yeah, it's kind of still the same goal for the whole year, but with another approach to it. Um, and then there's another change in plans. I ordered myself um, a year long mystery cell by the Clouds Factory. They are doing a Brothers Grimm. A uh, fairy tale stitch along, and I'm into that. I totally am. I don't know a lot um, 
for now. I ordered the kit because there's a picture with plus fabric in and there are some big styrofoam threads and some DMCs and stuff. So I don't know if they will arrive prior to 10th of January when the first part will be released because they ship from the, uh, the US and I'm in Germany. So it takes normally about a month. But that's fine because I kind of have to reach some goals <laughs> before I start it because I have plan to plan starts. That's the Super Size Max color once upon a fairy tale and the temperature garden. But for all other starts I have to pay. So I kind of have to pay for the self. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it and if I'm going to do, um, get myself into um, into debt and like into debt and already start something with where I have not yet paid for and pay thereafter. We'll see. Okay, uh, it's already getting dark over here, so <laughs> let's move forward. Last part is haul. Um, as I said, I do not have a lot. I have some gentle art sampler threads. Um, so now I have all the colors I need for the Joyful Wild Cell. Those are the last I needed. There are some in there that I knew I or know I need a second one. So here is, oh yeah, I can see that really good. So I'll try this. Here's Mountain Mist. It's better. This is Wood Rose. Yeah, not really good, but that's okay. Walnut. We have Suit. That one I actually need for February. So I had to get, had to get it. Um, this one is Shutter Green. I already have that color, but I need another skein. Um, I won't survive all those months without another one of those. Lavender Potpourri. Really beautiful lilac. Way brighter than you see it on camera. Um, we have Avocado. That one's super bright on camera and Lavender Potpourri just isn't. But yeah, well. And Apple Cider, I already have used up one of those skeins and presently using the second one and I will need a third one. <laughs> so yeah, those are the gentle and simpler threads and now I can pack them with all the others and especially pack suit with the February ones. Um, because now I showed you. There we go. Then I got myself some Lugana. And yeah, they are different. I got myself one 25 count Queen Lugana. That's everything in German, so you won't be able to read it probably. But yeah, 25 count Lugana in cream. And then I got myself two 28 count Luganas, one in white and one in ice blue. And one of those 28 counts will be for the Temperature Garden by Stitch and Mami. I have not yet decided if it's going to be the blue one or the white. Probably the white. Um, and one charge, because if I get above a specific amount of money, I don't have to pay, pay shipping. So I wanted to reach that, and I did with Persephone, Persephone by uh, Mirabilia. And... <laughs> There's a lot of DMC, there's some Karen Rodelies, and there are a hell lot of beads in there. But she's beautiful. She really is. Yeah, that's her. Um, no plan for stitching her anytime soon, but she's beautiful. <laughs> okay, that's, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope to get it up still today on the 23rd of uh, December and not tomorrow. Um, I hope to, get, hope to get some stitching done over the next week. My plan is to come back on the 31st of December for our last update in 2019. Um, but I'm not sure if I will get that done. Um, I should, but I'm not sure. And I hope to finish a lot of goals till then. So we'll see. 
and I can't wait to start my full coverage here. I actually can't wait. Um, I would love to already start, but yeah, not possible. Um, for one, it's not 2020 yet, and for a second, I don't have a phone to post my starting pictures on Facebook. So, yeah, that's a good thing. Um, yeah, that's that's it, I think. Um, I wish you a Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate, I wish you wonderful holidays and beautiful time with your family and friends. Um, hopefully, you have snow wherever you are. Over here, we always hope for white Christmas and we never get it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope you have some snow. I hope you have a wonderful time and maybe even get some stitching in, maybe more than normally, maybe just a few stitches because all of the friends and family coming over and um, all those visits. Uh, if I don't come back next week, I hope you have a wonderful time. Um, and a wonderful end to th 2019 and a great start into 2020. Um, I hope you, to see you then um, back again in 2020 or if I, if I get it done um, one last time in 2019. Uh, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful stitching week and see you next time. Bye!